This is the Business of Leadership Series Minute with your host, the best-selling author of Don't Buy a Duck and founder of MarketingStrategyHero.com, Derek Champagne. Our guest today, David Lane, CEO of ShoeWin. It's the largest available ticket reservation marketplace, and he'll talk more about that. It's a great concept. David, thanks for being our guest today. Good to be here, Derek. Uh, you talked about staying the course when the time is right, the concept comes to fruition. You talked about that a little bit earlier. How, and, and I know that, that someone, you know, I've interviewed companies where it took them 20 years to get something off the ground. They just believed in it so strongly they kept going. And where others might have said that's not smart, go move on to something else. When, when have you found is the right time to stay the course because you believe in it? And when's the time to, to move on to a different direction? Uh, I think the numbers always tell the story. Uh, you know, in, in, in every, uh, investor meeting or conference that I'm at or a leadership uh, team meeting that I'm in, we all may have a view or an opinion, but if the numbers don't back it up, it is not real. And so I very much rely on the financials. If you are not seeing after a period of time, you know, you've got an R&D period, you've got to go to market strategy. Once you start testing market demand and pricing and leverage that you have for this concept or service, if the financials do not start to perform and you are not seeing the numbers to support your thesis that this is a good idea, you have got to make yourself take a step back and start to do the analysis of, do we need to pivot? Is it a revision? Or do we have the wrong approach? Or is this just not a good idea? And that, you know, we talk about the founder's blinders. That is the number one fault. We, we don't recognize where it actually is not a good idea. And we just continue to drive and drive and drive. And listen, a lot of great small and mid-sized companies exist. They don't have to become unicorns. They don't have to get bought for $100 million. They can pay the bills and small businesses across this country, which make this country great, were built on a, an idea that just happens to get to a certain level. And that's where it's going to stay. And that makes the founders happy. That keeps his five to 10 employees it's thrilled to be a part of a small organization because they get to be a part of something and make a difference and it's a family and it's a community and so i think that the the, the piece of this to, to circle back on the answer to your question i always always end up relying on those numbers financials to me are the the absolute behind the curtain decision point for everything that we do Hey, it's Derek Champagne. If your business right now during this crisis is concerned about your revenue streams, your existing customers, new opportunities, I want to encourage you to go to crisismarketingtoolkit.com. 